copyrights, violating individual privacy. Your best friend is suing you for $600 million. A movie about Facebook seems rather awkward to produce, if you ask me. I mean, what's next? A movie about Twitter, YouTube, or MySpace? And in all honesty, having a Facebook account isn't as exciting as everyone makes it out to be. There are no blog features, no video features, or any kind of attractions to me as MySpace does. All it is is just posting a bulletin describing yourself while making friends. But to be fair, a concept like this in cinema is not very commonplace. So points for originality. And believe it or not, this movie about the origins of the website, simply known as The Social Network, is a pretty powerful and well-acted film. Jesse Eisenberg stars as the creator of Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg, where first taking place at Harvard University in the year 2003. After getting broken up by his girlfriend, he hacks into the computer systems, gets busted, but later sets a direction where he stumbles upon twin athletes who make a deal with him to promote a website. But Mark uses one of his friends, Eduardo Saverin, played by Andrew Garfield, where he wishes to make his own interactive website. He steals the website name, or accused by the twins at least. He also stumbles upon a businessman named Sean Parker, who also makes a deal where he can make a fortune off of his site. Oddly enough, he's played by Justin Timberlake. The movie deals with personal issues Mark has while creating his website. He loses his friends, he goes through whom to trust, and later costs him something more damaging which eventually leads to a sorrowful ending. The tagline of the poster implies that, and I quote, you don't get 500 million friends without making new enemies, and the movie defines that line remarkably well. However, going into more detail is going to result spoiling the film more in order to give out any more of my thoughts. Though I can't guarantee the personality of Mark Zuckerberg was ever accurate, Jesse Eisenberg did a great job playing his role. He's likable, yet dislikable at the same time. He can be sarcastic and sassy with his geeky talk to others, but he struggles through lawsuits, accusations, and the relationship with his dumped girlfriend. He eventually betrays some of his friends and so on. Speaking of friends, Eduardo Saverin was likable the most. What he goes through is much like Mark, except he's occasionally keeping a lookout and is being more responsible. In the end, however, he's thrown off like a tool, which begins to upset me in a more entertaining way. Everyone else, especially Parker, is practically despicable. Great acting, dialogue, direction, well-paced, a solid cast, and a tremendous story, I can't really complain about anything in this movie. Even though I'm not into Facebook all that much, I enjoyed this movie a lot. It takes a new direction in cinemas and actually pays heavy tribute to its source material. Now again, I can't guarantee how accurate this movie is, but I think it's respectable in many ways. I like movies like that, and I thank David Fitcher on behalf of this. Let's hope more of that comes along the way. The Social Network gets a 5 out of 5.